guys, it's Jody. Today's video is going to be the last of our testing videos with the Valspar Ultra. We're still testing the semi-gloss, the base C with the Verithane, except we're gonna be using the US Floetrol cell activator recipe in this video. So we'll be doing a bloom and a swipe like we've done with the last three videos. And then the next video, I will do a mixing video to show you how I mix up this pouring medium. So with that, let's go have some fun with this last test. All right, really quick before we get to painting, I had a request from one of my subscribers to show what the uh, Infinity Base looked like compared to these two Valspar, the Ultra, uh, the High Gloss and the Semi Gloss. So, you know, I like to you know, put it on some uh, freezer paper and see how it dries alone so you can kind of get an idea. So this here, this here in this hand is the the HGTV, the Infinity, and I don't have a big enough dot of it, so I will try to bring it in. My... And then this here is the Valspar Ultra, the high gloss. And then this is the Valspar Ultra, the semi-gloss. As you can see, this one has the titanium in it. But again, I mean, when you see the dried results, you can't, you can hardly tell. So it's, this is just about on par with the Valspar Ultra. Let me get up a little bit closer so you can see just those two together first. Hopefully my, there we go, my light see and then this is the uh, the semi-gloss but these are the two um, actually what's funny is the infinity is a semi-gloss and it dries pretty much just like the high gloss here and this is the semi-gloss so I just wanted to show that comparison I will also see if I can find um, a panel that I've done to kind of compare the dried results with the Infinity and then the uh, the Val the two Valspars. I'll show all that at the end of this video when I show you the dried results. So now we're gonna go paint. All right, just to recap, we are going to be uh, doing both a bloom and a swipe with the Valspar Ultra, the semi gloss, and the base C along with the Verithane Triple Thick Polyurethane, the water-based, and the clear gloss. And that's mixed three to one, the Valspar to Verithane. And today we're gonna be using the US Floetrol Cell Activator to see how that works with the semi-gloss. I'm gonna be using the same colors. I'll show you those. Actually, I will show you them now. Actually. <laughs> get ahead of myself here. Um, just to recap, I wanted to show you the mixed up pouring medium by itself. This is the Valspar Verithane Triple Thick. It has a nice, nice consistency. It runs really nice off the stick. That's what it looks like when you mix it up, when you, mi <laughs> when you mix it up. And my next video after this one will actually be a mixing video of both the the Valspar Ultra high gloss and semi gloss. So you'll, you'll see how I mix that up. And the colors are gonna be the same. Again, the Atelier Interactive Red Gold, and this one, again, is pretty thick, so it takes a little bit to mix it in, but it's just gorgeous. And these have been sitting a little bit, so you can see it's, it's a little bit thicker, but the way it runs off, it's still, it's still okay to me. Like, I'm gonna use it as is. If you want it a little thinner, you can add um, you can add a little bit of an ex uh, acrylic extender or GAC 800, but I am okay with this. And then the pigment I'm going to be using is oops, the this little piggy in the Lakeside, and this is this one thickened up too. It was a little bit thinner, but it's still a nice consistency. It's a nice thick consistency for a pigment. Normally they're thinner than your paints, but these thicken up pretty well. And I'm just going to use that as is. I'm going to use all of these just as is. And then the third color was the Utrecht 
uh, fluid acrylic red violet and one of my subscriber subscribers uh, told me and I went and looked she was looking for it on the Blick this is Dick Blick's uh, brand I went to go look for it and it wasn't on the site anymore so I don't know if they've stopped making it or it's just temporarily unavailable but if you can't get this red violet the other red violets I've used that are similar if not the same is um, Golden has a Let's see, Golden has a quinacridone violet, which, I mean, is super, super th similar. Uh, Amsterdam has a red violet that, again, is pretty similar. And then Matisse, I don't have it here. Matisse has a red violet as well. And so if you can't find this one, there's other red violets that will work just as well as this. And this one thickened up too but it's still again I mean it runs off the stick really nice we're gonna go with all of these and then the cell activator I'm gonna do for this first one the bloom is gonna be uh, the Amsterdam oxide black which I have mixed with the US Floetrol at 9 to 1 and here's the consistency of that all right now the pillow is my Glidden Premium in Satin. I've finally put some eggshell on my bench, but I'm letting it sit and I only have about mm, probably enough for this painting and my next one <laughs> of the satin. So we'll probably switch over to the eggshell next time. That should be enough. And I've got the, since this is a deep sided canvas, I already have it covered with pillow paint just so that it gets coverage. more that should be good my red gold there and then this is the lakeside pigment that should be good and then the red violet enough and again this is u.s flow troll so i'm going to let that sit for probably a, a few 30 seconds or so just to you want to get the halo around there before you start blowing it out because you know then it's sinking down and the u.s flow troll takes a bit longer than the australian flow troll all right We're going to let that fill in a little bit. I think I added a little bit. And I think this is, it. I didn't thin it from what I made it the last time. It could probably be just a touch thinner if I, and just, but when I say thinner, I mean just adding a little bit more flow troll. All right, we'll let that settle in had it mixed up for about two weeks now so it's um, sometimes it starts to just lose its potency which is fine I mean it's it's US flow troll I'm just glad it works at all <laughs> seriously and if you're finding you know if you're having trouble with the US flow troll and you've had it sitting around for a couple of weeks it might be it just needs um, add a little bit more flow troll to it or you might need to mix up a new batch one of those two should cure it 
or if it's too thick, just add a little bit more Floetrol. I mean, I mean, you might have to play with it. It's, it's not as easy going as the Australian Floetrol, but it does work. All right, now I think that's filled in pretty nicely. I'm gonna just add a few, few things here. I noticed lately I've been doing a lot more squiggly than swirls. I don't know why. I just, I'm just going with it. You can really do whatever you want. There is no limit to it. There's no limit and there's no right or wrong way to, to put any kind of modifications in your blooms. For me, I usually like to take the bare areas and add some interest to it. If I'm getting a lot of nice cells, I like to leave those alone. But, you know, others like to actually pull through and make designs that way. It's totally your preference, what, what you want to do. And I may try that soon, just to, just to change it up a little bit. So I think that is pretty good that has turned out pretty nice i am going to meet you over at the spinner box and we are going to see what comes of this all right here's what this looks like before we spin it out and i'm just i'm just going to spin real slow so it trickles down the side kind of guide it i want want it to go somewhere else but it's looking pretty good just want to keep this all these cells kind of in the center Woo -wee. I love all the little swirls with the cells not too much movement so I'm just going to give it a healthy spin here. Just a little bit. Oops. Just one more. I think we're good after that. Yeah, I think we're there. Actually, I want to go this way one more. That's good. Now we're there. <laughs> I wanted to get a little bit more going down the side. And now moving on to our swipe test. Uh, the This is a six by six deep sided canvas, same as before. And I'm using the same pillow, which is the Glidden Premium in Satin. Whoa, wrong way, wrong way. All right, let's just move that out a little. I never know where my swipes are gonna go. <laughs> I don't like swiping on, on dry canvas accidentally. That looks good. All right, same colors, except that we are going to be using the white, the Amsterdam Titanium White Cell Activator mixed with the U.S. Floetrol at 10 to 1. I think I might try my black cell activator at 10 to 1 next time, too. It just seemed a little like a hair. You know, I love that word because <laughs> it's just so minute. It's almost unnoticeable, but... At any rate, this is the consistency of the, the white cell activator. 
and I'm going to be using my favorite swipe tool, this one. And if any of you um, are wondering where I get it, I do get it on the Dick Blick site. It is their, the Blick brand, RGM, RGM or Blick. It's got both of them on here, but it's number 34. And I'm just going to layer my cell activator and all my colors on here. I will show you how it is once I have it on here. All right, kind of like this. I've got the well, the well, the, the white cell activator on first, then I have the red violet, the lakeside pigment, and then the red gold tube paint. And we're gonna just start right here. And go like that. And it is. The US flow trawl, so it does take a minute to come up, and if I don't like what I see, I'm gonna swipe over it. <laughs> That's just how I feel today. I'm gonna bring out this one and just kinda guide this along a little, take some of the cell activator that way, and do the same over here might get my straw out although they're starting to they're starting to come in nicely here slowly but surely I might give another couple small swipes while I let this fill in here on this little guy. And I've got all three colors and the cell activator on here. We're just gonna, we're gonna plop it right here. Go that way, see what that does. Sometimes I do that, I'll take the, the cell activator again. Even if it doesn't produce a lot of cells, it'll it'll kind of move the colors around and make a nice ribbon. And I, I dig that as well. So it's kind of twofold what I'm doing. If I don't get the cells I want, I might get a nice ribbon that'll stay. Some nice cells, some really neat stuff forming in here. All right, I think we're good. I want to modify it just a little bit. Just kind of adding interest where there isn't. But I know some of this is just going to come off anyways. A lot of this will come off, even though these are really cool looking cells. I'm more focusing on what's right here. But that'll be fun. I'm excited. All right, I think I am done with that. And I'm going to meet you over at the spinner box and we're going to see what comes of this. All right. Here's what this one looks like before we spin it out. Some cells, nice cells really came in. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna spin first. I think it's really well centered, so I'm just gonna spin slow. And then kinda 
see where it is and guide it a little. Actually, I kind of want to go up. I really like what's happening down below. Not a lot of paint on here either, so let's just take it up a little over. Spin that way. Ooh, yeah, this is turning out really nice. I'm going to spin it once more. We're just about there. It's still moving, but there's not as much paint on there as there normally could be. And I love the composition, how it's just kind of flowing, and I'm not going to point because I've got too much paint on my hands. I have learned my lesson. Gosh, this is just gorgeous. All right, one more baby spin, and I think we're there. Yeah, I really like how that flows. It's dream. It's almost dreamy when we when using the white cell activator, it and the white pillow. It almost adds it, it adds a softness to it, but it almost it's almost dreamy. And when you see the um, the flyover of it, you'll see more of the detail that I'm seeing here. So I. I think we're good. I think, I think we're good. Yeah. Ooh, look at that side. Those cells on that side, I hope they stick. All right. Oh, cool. The cells in here look almost 3D, some of them. Here's what that looks like. I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of both of these. All right, here's the flyover of this guy. Those cells really settled in nicely. I think my Floetrol, um, I usually keep it in a squeeze bottle and it was towards the end. You see all those little kind of floaty black floaty bits that normally doesn't happen i think it's just my flow trawl has been in my squeeze bottle a while and i need to replace my squeeze bottle so don't let that deter you it's 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 just my flow trawl um the bottle that it was being kept in but these cells just turned out really nice and i even got some tiny microscopic ones <laughs> i love that you know how i love those <laughs> All right, here's the flyover of this one. I just love all, <laughs> everything about this piece, all the different cells. I mean, you get little tiny ones coming up over here, um, just the pink and this little spiky thing. I didn't even do that. That just happened naturally. These spikes are, are my modifications, but that spike, that happened naturally. So that is just the coolest thing <laughs> ever. But I just love how the, the colors mixed in. And, and the white, it just brings another dimension to it. I I really just, I'm totally digging. I, I want to do this on a bigger piece now. Um, but I, I, I really wanted to add a little bit more interest. Like those, those little spikes are mine as well. And that's okay. It adds interest. But this just turned out so beautifully. I cannot wait to see... Uh, both of these dried so i will be back to show you the dried results once they are dry and i'm back to show you the results from the bloom and the swipe you just saw me do and they dried beautifully and i'm for the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the these two dried pieces and then i also have a comparison from the last uh us flow trawl with the high gloss so you can see the difference and then um, i've got something else i want to show you as well so first 
Oops. Let me show you the first piece. This was the bloom that we did. Here it is in full. And it dried really nice. And again, you're going to see, I mean, and this is semi-gloss and it has, it, it dries with a nice gloss. You can see some matte in there. That's from the cell activator. Cell activators, depending on how much you put on or how you blow it out, if you have a lot in a certain area, it's going to dry a little bit more matte. And if you're resining or varnishing, again, it's a non-issue. But that is one of the reasons why you'll kind of get um, matte in certain areas as well. But let's bring this in this dry just beautifully. And for a semi-gloss, the pigments, they just, I don't know if the camera's capturing it. I mean, they do have a nice shimmer in there as well. And the sides were covered really nicely too. So there's that one. And then the swipe, these swipes with the with the white cell activator. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm always surprised, but I am because they just turn out so beautifully. Uh, you know, they have just this softness about them. So here's the swipe we did in full. And as I turn it, you can see the gloss factor. Again, this is semi-gloss and I will show you a side-by-side -side comparison with the high gloss as well. But with the US Floetrol cell activator, I like that I can modify it a little bit, put, you know, little swirls and things, but I also love how the cells, they are, they can be different and they pop up and they just, some of them almost look 3D, three-dimensional. It looks more cell-like as opposed to webbing when you get, you, you do get webbing, especially with white cell activator with the Australian Floetrol. But this one dried really nice too. And the sides got nice coverage. And I was really, <laughs> I was really digging this, just stretching down the side. It, it dried a little bit softer, but when it was wet, it just, it just stuck out to me. And I, I didn't want to lose those cells, but I'm glad they hung on the side. <laughs> so there's that one. Now I'm going to compare the, so it was two videos ago when we did the Valspar Ultra High Gloss with the US Floetrol Cell Activator. And so this is the one I just showed you. And then this is, this is the high gloss one. I'm trying to get it in the light just to kind of show you the gloss factor. And you can also see the colors too. I, they're, there really isn't that much difference, if at all. You know, when you, I showed you the base dried, you know, on a piece of freezer paper, and you can totally tell the titanium white in the semi-gloss, but using them and mixing the colors and how the colors dry, really not much difference at all. I mean, just gorgeous. Trying to get both of them in. <laughs> So there's those two. And if I didn't have it written on the back, <laughs> I probably would be like, okay, which one is which? And and if you decide to experiment with both of them, um, let me know if you see what I'm seeing. It, it's, it's really hard to tell the high gloss from the semi gloss with this Valspar Ultra. Now this is the one I just showed you in the swipe. And then this, is the high gloss swipe we did. It's just, <laughs> it's almost uncanny for me, the resemblance of both of these. I'm really enjoying this pouring medium mix with the Verithane Triple Thick. And the colors, I mean, they're just gorgeous with both of them. So really, I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. And, and I keep 
not pushing, but almost saying, okay, the semi-gloss, it's just as good. Even though it has some titanium white in it, it that's okay. Trust me. <laughs> but I, put, I, I, I say it because if for some reason you can't get the high gloss or it's out of stock at your lows or, and you only have the semi-gloss, the base C, get it. It will work. <laughs> it will work. So there's that one. Now I did have a request from a subscriber. Um, I did show a little bit earlier in this video, the, the bases alone, you know, when I show on freezer paper, the, uh, Valspar Ultra in both the high gloss and the semi gloss. And then uh, compared with the Sharon Williams HGTV infinity, which is, you know, my, was my current love, but it's so expensive. I, I started out, I fell in love with it when it was still $43 a gallon at my local Lowe's. It's since gone up to over $50 a gallon. And I'm hearing from other people around the country, it's 55, 56 plus dollars for them at their Lowe's. So it's, it's a bit pricey. Uh, so this, this is a nice alternative. Um, I think I just, I haven't been to Lowe's yet to check the prices of the gallon for the Valspar Ultra, both the high gloss and the semi gloss. But one of my friends texted me and told me that they were just there. And I believe the gallon is $32, either one, the base C. So that's, that's a significant uh, savings <laughs> right there. So, but I want, what I wanted to show you, I've got a piece here that's dried that I did with uh, the Infinity, and I kind of wanted to show you side by side with the one of the Valspar high gloss and then one of the Valspar semi gloss, just to give you an idea. I mean, they, it's pretty similar in how they all dry, and this one is done. Uh, this piece, uh, you probably remember. This I did with the US Floetrol cell activator as well. So I kind of wanted to use that as a comparison. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this guy right here. Oh gosh, <laughs> this, is the, this is the high gloss. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to do a quick comparison just to kind of show you the, the sheen and how it dries. I know this is black cell activator, but I'm also going to show you the, the swipe as well, just so we can see it with the white cell activator. But this is with the high gloss and then this was the semi gloss. The, uh, and, and the infinity is semi gloss. So for it to be just as, you know, the sheen to be just as almost as glossy in both the high gloss and the semi gloss. I, that's saying something. Valspar, you're onto something. Now, um, this is the swipe with the high gloss. And again with the infinity. And then real quick with the semi gloss one. So very comparable, I would say, very comparable. But I almost like certain, I mean, I love these little cells in this one. I almost like how the cells come out with the Valspar Ultra uh, compared to the Infinity with the US Floetrol cell activator. So I think that this Valspar Ultra is a really good alternative to the Infinity if, you know, A, you don't want to spend that kind of money because it is expensive, or B, you uh, they're not selling it at your Lowe's anymore or it's out of stock. I I, I heard that it's it's harder to get in, in some areas. I, I don't know if it's due to, you know, the a shortage, but it is still uh, available at Lowe's. Like, they haven't discontinued it yet, but if you know, it, it, you've got options here with it and they're both equally good. Um, I, if, you know, if, if they raise the price more of the infinity, I'm probably going to just stick with the Valspar. I've got about four gallons of the infinity to use up. So I, I'll probably be doing interchangeably, but I love this Valspar Ultra. It, it passed all my tests with fi flying colors. So let me know what you think below in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you've used, you know, either the high gloss, the semi gloss or both.
if you've experimented, if you're using a different varnish than the Verithane Triple Thick, I think that's the magic combo for me and how I want my cells to come out. But if you've gotten it to work with another uh, varnish, you know, Joe Sonia or a different one that I haven't even tried, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. So, so I really had a lot of fun experimenting with this new pouring medium mix and I it's definitely going to be in my rotation it's going to be one that's going to be used by me I hope it was helpful for you to see the comparison between the two the Valspar and the semi-gloss and it's it's you know they're they're pretty comparable so with that please like share and subscribe and I will see you guys next time thanks so much for watching